What is going on YouTube? It's the Big K Cops 360 here, and I'm putting out a massive prediction, a massive guess, a big estimation, and let's just see if I'm right. Now, my guess is AMD will re announce or re release the FX series of CPUs, them great 8 cores, 6 cores, and even the 4 cores. And I'm, no, there's no 2 cores, but you know, the quad, the hex, and the octa core CPUs, they will come out with them again in 2015. Now, I made a video a few months ago saying that AMD said themselves, FX isn't dead, bruh. It's not gone. It's not dead. We've still got it. We're still going to release them. However, we're just not going to do it yet. We don't know. So that pretty much put a lot of doubt, a lot of. A mystery into the minds of everyone and no one knows when it'll come out however my guess is 2015 AMD since 2012 have been focusing on APU and that's been a good thing I mean we've seen uh, the Kabini APUs, Kaveri, uh, Richland, what's is the latest one Kaveri? I believe the latest one is Kaveri but Whatever, they've been focusing heavily on APUs. Maybe one day we will see the big 8 core APU and hopefully one day I don't know how, they're going to have to go through some amazing feat of engineering, but hopefully one day they can fit GDDR5 RAM onto uh, the one of their APUs. I don't think it'll work like that. Maybe they're going to have to have some kind of, you know, hybrid zombie kind of motherboard or something like that. But anyway, getting back to FX, I reckon they will release them next year, 2015. We're going to see it on the new architecture, whether that be Steamroller or Excavator. Hopefully it's Excavator. If it's Excavator architecture, it'll be epic, man. Epic. And hopefully, th these are the few things AMD needs to do to uh, fix, or not really fix, but improve the FX series of CPUs. First thing is make this single core... Uh, power or single core, this single threaded power better. It just needs to be better. I mean, everyone knows that Intel dominates AMD uh, for core to core performance. However, it's not that big of a difference. I mean, honestly, it's not going to affect you that much unless you do like some, if you're doing serious video editing, like legit video, like movie editing and all that kind of stuff, obviously, you're not going to be paying the 200 for the $200 8 core CPU. You're going to be getting the the $600 Intel uh, offering, the 3930K, 3960X, or whatever it is now, 4930K, 4960X, whatever, whatever. However, for the consumer grade, consumers, the 8 core is fine, and we'd like to see some better single threaded performance, because, honestly, even though the multi-core performance is great and all that stuff, it's, all the, it's something a lot of people complain about. People do like single threaded performance. I mean, for me, it doesn't really matter. Like, I've got the 8320 overclocked, to 4.2 so it's pretty much an 8350 and like it's not like I'm browsing and I'm like damn I wish I had better single core performance however it's something people out there want people out there need I guess and it'd just be nice for AMD to do it I mean come on they can imp improve their single core, uh, single core performance, everyone knows that. And that won't just help out the 8 core CPUs but it'll help out the 4 cores. The quad cores at the moment are pretty meh, they're pretty meh. Uh, I mean, when I talk about the quad cores, I'm not talking about the APUs. I'm talking about the FX uh, quad cores, like the 4300. I'm pretty sure 4170 was like atrocious because that was bulldozer, so that's fair enough. But yeah, anyway, getting back to my prediction, uh, 2015 FX will come back, guys. It will come back. Who knows if I'm right? I hope I'm right, but I guess we'll see. If I get this right, all you guys owe me 50 bucks each. You can transfer that to my PayPal. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys later.